be rising my first day waking up in Bali I haven't even gotten out of bed yet so I look crazy but um, I'm excited to see what this day has in store for me let me show y'all what I'm waking up to. <laughs> look at that because the um, bed is um, closed in with this very thin white fabric and the top and I did not know I didn't even notice this was up there last night because I KO but when I opened my eyes this morning I was like oh that's so pretty I am going to start my day it is <laughs> I think it's like 7 30 something right now I, uh, I did not realize that it's a 12 hour time difference between Bali and the Eastern time zone. I didn't realize that till last night when I was on the phone with my mother and she was like, what time is it over there? And I told her it was, um, at the time it was like 11.30 p.m. And she was like, what? It's 11.30 a.m. here. I was like, wow. <laughs> so, I made sure I went to bed like 1 a.m. but I made sure to try and sleep because I don't want to be up I don't want to be tired throughout the day so um, I did end up falling asleep and then I woke up my body woke woke up at like 3 45 a.m. and um, I went to use the bathroom and I came back in bed and I felt like I was up up but I was like no 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 I laid back down and um, eventually I fell back asleep and then I woke up again at 6 30 I don't think that's too bad I'm supposed to be going to get acupuncture this morning so I'm excited for that yeah we'll see what else I do this morning okay I am up and ready for the day I'm talking soft because it's really quiet here <laughs> and I don't know if it's because people are still sleeping but um, I'm gonna show y'all bits and pieces of where I'm staying right now okay so coming out of my room this is a little gathering area where they have um, I don't I can't remember what the name that she told me last night but and then out of these big wooden doors this beautiful patio it's really beautiful here okay and then inside She's written so many books. Everything representing birth. Look at all of this. <laughs> I just love it. I love it. This is one of the bathrooms, the half bath. And this is the full bath. Everything, <clears throat> everything is made out of natural material as you can see. So yeah, I'm gonna head downstairs and um, wait on my mama Kira to finish getting ready and then we're gonna go get some acupuncture done. I 
this is my breakfast today look how pretty that dragon fruit be y'all know I love me some fruits so I'm in heaven just a beautiful peaceful morning you lead the way I'll follow this is beautiful just take all the things once you post it send it to me you do? The right side is a girl for the left, uh, left side is for the boy. Okay, and what's this here again? This is a... They buried a placenta. Like a of and put a stone over it and then they give offerings. West. So lives here. That's her family temple in there. Uh, my uncle. Your uncle's house. My uncle in law. Your, your uncle in law. Yeah, and I'm not from here. So they put the yeah, girl placentas on the right side, side and the oh, boy wow. placentas on the left side. This is something. This is so much culture. <laughs> Everybody live in this compound. So much culture and tradition. Yes. I already count about five, six Thank houses in this compound. This is the spirit that cares for the house. That is the That's the spirit that cares for the house. Yeah. <laughs> See the offerings up there. And look at this banana tree. <laughs> so we're walking up to the birthing center so now. Many, many your neighbor and these statues oh this statue from the from the our village for mm -hmm. our village put like a two 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 statue two statue in the front of my house two two statue also and these are people's houses there's literally offerings yeah. everywhere at the kitchen also we have a oh this is the birthday center right. oh. This is the birthing center. Birth heals Mother Earth. So beautiful here. Look at this statue. How beautiful is this? And nobody wears shoes. Everybody take off their shoes over there. Birthing rooms. Here we are. This is the assessment room. Like if the lady comes in, somebody comes in, you check and you assess the situation and see where she is before she's directed. I've never seen a birth and center so beautiful in my life. Like who wouldn't want to give birth here? They have a whole garden. Sound of flowing water. 
it's just beautiful. This is a birthing yes, room yeah, as well. Room so this is another birthing room. Mm -hmm. This seems to be... And they were doing water births. They had it all set up. And, but the government says no. So everywhere they're finding normal birth. But you persevere. Yeah. My body is working. I love this one. So, but still, my grand uh, granddaughter and my grand so still in the water. But <laughs> still <It's> quiet. <laughs> Everywhere is the same. We have to do a lot of things quietly. Yeah. So this so, is recovery. Yeah, recovery, but this one is still for some Yeah. yeah. If you want to see the, the patient, maybe you can ask. Aww. But, so this is empty. This side is recovery, but the two recovery rooms over there are occupied by mothers right now. And this is an empty recovery room. Very serene. This is beautiful. The bathroom. Everything is very clean. Maybe you want to see the patient. I will ask. About to get my acupuncture done. I'm in the room waiting for the acupuncturist to come in. Just laying here. Okay, so the peace kitchen is there and you can just go. Okay, so I realized that I never actually ended the vlog for today. Um, I don't know, I can't remember exactly what I recorded in what order, but in my mind, I think the last thing I recorded was me about to get acupuncture. I don't know, I'll see when I go through the footage, but um, I did get acupuncture and what made this different than all the other times I got acupuncture was, my gosh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's this thing that, this herb that's like, it comes like a cigar, but they cut it up and they stick it on the top of the needle that's already, um stick in you and then they light it so it burns like an incense and it adds heat and healing properties to the needle so you actually feel the heat but it doesn't burn let me tell you i have to ask them again what's the name of it um it starts with an m masao mass some i cannot remember but all i know is that my goodness i am definitely doing that again before i leave because why not it was amazing it was an amazing session um i was also supposed to get a massage but i mama makeda went to get her massage first and by the time she was done i swear she was in there for like two hours but by the time she was done, it was kind of late. And I didn't want to burn the lady out. So I was like, I'll come back tomorrow. However, I'm plotting to actually still get a massage in the morning. Plus one in the afternoon to make up for not getting one today. Because I really just want to get a massage daily. So I got the massage done. I mean, the acupuncture done. And then I came back. They gave us... Um, lunch at the 
birthing clinic. Now let me tell y'all how dope this clinic is. Real, real quick. The clinic is based on donations, right? Meaning if you don't have anything, you don't have to pay anything. And that is for everybody in the community who wants to come there and get whatever service. They do yoga, they do Pilates. Oh, that reminds me, there's a Pilates class tomorrow that I want to go to. They said, I think she said it starts at four, but I'll double check in the morning. So everything is donation based. This is just dope. So if a mother wants to go to the birthing center to have her baby, but she cannot afford to pay, they're not going to refuse her. She could still come. Um, you pay what you can. They do everything based on donations, and they still give the utmost like, stellar care. We were able to go into one of the rooms the recovery rooms that was occupied by one of the mothers who just gave birth. Everybody here is so sweet. They're so kind. Like their energy. You could tell when people are being nice to you just because you're a tourist and they're trying to get something from you. It's not that at all. Like people here, so far everyone I've met, they are just genuinely good people. Like their energy is light and laid back and at ease. Girl, I don't even know what to say. I don't have the words. But I was just amazed that she was able to come here and build this from nothing. And she had her challenges, of course. But she built this from nothing and she created it in a way that she can provide care for everybody. Okay? Even like after my acupuncture, I was like, okay, so how much does it cost? Where do I pay? And they were like, you just give what you can. We don't have a set price for anything. Just you give whatever donations you can. And I was like, oh, shock. <laughs> I was like, for me too? She was like, yeah, for everybody. It doesn't matter who comes. Listen, I don't, something like this would be so good in the, on St. Croix. But the mentality of the people is what's lacking for something like this to thrive. We ain't gonna get into all of that because, because. But when I say what I witnessed today has amazed me and filled me up so full, like I don't even have the words. It's just amazing, completely amazing like you can tell everybody love their job they love working together um, they have a kitchen staff who cooks lunch every day and the entire staff eat lunch every day for free as well as they provide meals for any mothers who's there in recovery or whatever they are ju it's just an amazing community an amazing organization amazing everything i don't have the words i've never seen nothing like this and that's sad but i've never seen anything operate like this um how she's able to pay her workers and her staff through donations everything is donation based like donors like big organizations or um whatever who because i got i have the booklet and she has a list of all of the donors that donate to the birthing clinic, the birthing center. And that is how she's able to run things and allow women to come there and get service, whether they can afford it or not. And I just thought that was so amazing. Like, my goodness, if I was ever to do open anything, something, that's how I would want to do it. You know how bad it is to be in birth work and have to refuse a mother care because she can't afford to pay? That is a horrible feeling. That's why even like as a doula, when women ask my price or whatever, I always tell them like, this is my price. However, if you cannot afford it, I still won't turn you away. I will provide whatever support that I can in any capacity. A lot of women don't even know this, but they have been getting my doula service, whether I'm present there for their birth or not. They've been getting my service 
without even knowing. You know, when you call me, ask for questions, support, when I um, tell you what herbs or what things to do to help with X, Y, and Z, like all of that are is services you pe women pay doulas to do. And I just do it because like that's my labor of love. Like I, I just want women to experience the best, have the best birthing experience as possible and I just love it. I'm, we're going back there tomorrow. We're here for like, we spent the whole day there, by the way, the whole day. And like, it's, this clinic is open to the community, okay? She was like, nannies bring the children there just to play because it's such an open space. Like, people just come. They just come there. Like, it's such, oh my God, I, can't, I don't have the words, okay? Now, me ranting about this is making this video long, and I didn't want that, but this, visiting that alone has made this trip just amazing, and I haven't even, it's only the day one of me being here. Like, just this visit, this one day has made this trip just everything. Like, I'm full from it. Anyways, that is it for day one. Um, I'm gonna see what other things I can capture tomorrow because this is this this visit to the birthing center is gonna be just one video so I'll see what else happens tomorrow that I can capture pertaining to this vlog because on the 25th we'll be meeting up with the rest of the ladies and checking into the hotel so that'll be a separate thing but anyways that's all I'm about to go to bed because I am tired. This time difference is kicking my ass. It's 8.41 p.m., which means it's 8.41 a.m. in St. Croix. And I force myself to stay up all day because I'm like, I am going to sleep tonight, okay? I'm not going to be sleeping in the day and being up all night. So I stayed up all day. I didn't even take a nap or anything. So I'm going to go to bed early and get some rest and be up bright and early so I can really make use of a full day. That's all. Peace. Day two in Bali. We're walking to the birthing clinic. I'm not sure what we're gonna get into today, but I plan on getting two massages today. So we'll see how that goes. So at any given place, you will see offerings. There's one across the street right there. Focus. Yeah, right there. Morning. I see a lot of offerings as I just walk up this one path. There's one right here. This is beautiful. There's one right there. Right there. Oh, look at that in there. That's probably somebody's temple. They have some um, private temples. Like that, that are family owned temples. This is such a spiritual place. This one right here. Look at this. Every day they do this. Every day. And it's just so amazing. It's so amazing. I notice that they place it outside the entrance of wherever so that's a common thing that I've been noticing see so the one right there is at the steps see, right there it's just so beautiful here I can't stress that enough I want to go in there Okay. Bye.
Spa. Oh, so beautiful. These are incense holders. Incense. Shop. Right outside the birthing center. So we like would we take like more than five hours or more than that's better than what it would be. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> But the, the closest is this Southeast Asia. Oh, look at Asia this candle. Asia, so it's like Vietnam and Cambodia and then so Singapore, Thailand. Yeah. Those in the places. I want to go to Cambodia. Yeah. Have you been to Cambodia? Not yet. <laughs> I just I just went to Thailand. Mm. Um, before COVID, really before COVID. Yeah, we leave it for, yeah, when are we leaving for Thailand? So we stopped in this fabric store because Mama Makeda loves fabric. <laughs> and these are all handmade, hand woven fabric, handmade batik fabric. <laughs> It's all beautiful, but it's just not my thing. Okay, so. okay. She has a beautiful one. <laughs> yeah, everything is handmade. These designs are handmade. Heading to the market where we can bargain. There are spas everywhere here. We already passed two, and this is another one. There's one right here across the street. <laughs> That's four spas that I've passed in just walking up this stretch. And are everywhere in this um, this um, province. I can't remember what she called it, but in this area of Ubud, it's very nice. It's like. She said a lot of expats move to this area because there's everything in this little bubble and you don't have to go, oh look at next spa. Another spa right there. It's literally everywhere. I love it. I want to move here. So we just stopped in this little cute shop. Clothing store. I see some pants out here that I like. Those. I like this top too, but I don't got to tea for it. You see a lot of people wearing stuff like these. If there's one thing I could say, here is that they wear a lot of um, natural fiber clothes. Ooh, look at this. I think I might get something here. So, as I expected, I did some shopping. I bought some clothes and some elephants. Um, they're still in there looking at stuff. But let me just show y'all. Right? I was saying, showing all the spas that we were passing. Look at next spa here and another one over there across the street. They have more bikes here than cars. <laughs> Everybody ride bikes. And, um, oh, that restaurant recently opened. I think.
think that's our next spot over there. But yeah, I'm about to head back so that we can, so that I can get my massage. So I just got finished with my massage. It's a little after six. And y'all could tell when I don't get a massage. Look at my face. Um, so I'm walking back to the house where we're staying is really close to the birthing clinic literally like a five minute walk if that and um, it's a little chilly so I'm excited to get there and take a hot shower I was gonna walk down there's a vegan restaurant nearby and I was gonna walk down to it but because it's a little chilly, I just want to go back to the house. Oh, wow. So I'm going to end up ordering some food instead. It's like this is, this is considered rush hour, I guess. <laughs> but... I just want to show y'all how close the house is. How close the house is. It's literally right down this street. And not even till the end. So, yeah, that's it. So, this was day three of me in Bali. And I just wanted to show y'all a glimpse of how I was able to be so intentional with how I start my day. Um, a cup of tea, a bowl of fruits, beautiful sunshine, letting the sun kiss my skin, <laughs> and of course journaling. I was able to journal just about every day on this trip, and that is a luxury that I wish I had over here because um, I don't get to journal as much as I would love to, being so busy and tired and on the go all the time. But um, while I was in Bali, I was really intentional with it and I love it. It's just I was able to tap into a version of myself that I felt so deeply in love with while I was over there that I don't have the words to it describe it. And you could say it was because I was on vacation, but I vacationed different places and never had that feeling. I just love it and I love the version of myself that I was able to be while I was there so just wanted to share that with you. so I am about to head to my appointment my massage and facial appointment which is literally right up the block from where we're staying look how beautiful it is here I can't get over how beautiful it is so I'm just waiting for Mama Makeda to come downstairs so we can go because our appointment is for 10 o'clock and it's already 9.49 I think. So look at all the drama I went through getting my hair done just to take it out and have it like this. It don't matter. I'm still cute. <laughs> We're here waiting for our massage. So nice in here. We chose the oil that we want to get our massage with. Now they're ready. I am coming for a longer time next time. I've come this far to stay this short time.
stay in the clinic or at the hospital to finish up my notes. Yeah. I just Does have that to capture sense? this moment a little bit. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm here at the great <laughs> Robin, <Stop it. laughs> Ibu Robin. She is just such an amazing midwife and has done so much in birth work. And I'm honored to meet her. I'm here oh. with two amazing midwives. And I don't think anybody would believe me, so I have to capture this <laughs> as proof that I was in the presence of greatness. I'll you know, as a doula, like, this is just amazing. The doulas. work that she's done, mm. so inspirational. I love doulas. I love it. Hi, it's <laughs> just it's seeing an old it's friend. Insane. And the work that she has done, you just cannot even imagine. I am so proud because we started this in the 70s. And if you, if you see the body of work that she has created here, she's like my rock star, my midwife rock star. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm very proud to have known her and learn from her and grow with her as we take back birth. Because if babies are born with their capacity to love intact, no more war. No more war. No yeah. more war. No more, no more. <laughs> Listen, if you don't know who she is, you can Google her, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but I am so honored to meet you. Oh, I am. So I am. That, like, I was raving about this trip, but I just kept saying, I'm going to a birthing center. Like, <laughs> nobody, I wasn't was talking about anything today. else. That means we're going to have a flood. And I said, that's yeah, why I called you, because it. I wanted her to see. <laughs> Queen, know you got that goddess energy, it's in your soul, queen, manifesting your reality.